Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are in a different setup today. So this is actually our living room and we've had a little furniture rearranged because I think it's a really good space to film in and the light's so good in here. So yeah, new filming space. Hopefully lots more fashion videos on the way. If you don't subscribe, please, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean so, so much. So today's video is a Zara haul and with a little bit of a twist. So what is the twist? It is the fact that I only have three items to show you. And at the beginning of the year, I mentioned, I think it was kind of on Instagram, maybe not on YouTube. I mentioned that I was gonna take a slightly more sustainable approach to fashion and how I consume things. That's not to say I'm gonna stop buying. That's not gonna say I'm stopping shopping at Zara or H&M or any of the shops that I was shopping at before, but just slightly more considered and kind of also not even just that, but I realized I had a lot in my wardrobe and I didn't want to keep adding and adding and adding. I wanted to actually really use the clothes that I already had. So the idea behind this haul is that these are pieces that already seamlessly fit into my existing wardrobe, enhance things that I already have that perhaps I can't get my wear out of until I've got an extra piece like this. And just to get more wearability out of my original wardrobe, as well as adding a couple of new pieces in that work well for this time of the year and perhaps going into the new season. And instead of doing cutaways within the actual haul section, what I'm gonna do is feature three ways to wear each of these three pieces. So hopefully not only will it give you a couple of ideas of what to maybe buy in Zara, but also some styling ideas as well. So let us begin with item number one. It's a very fine knit jumper in a white and black stripe and all my items that I've got are quite classic pieces. They're not so much trend pieces, they're kind of basics with a twist, all of them. Well, all three of them. Um, so this is just nice, lightweight, kind of wide shaped, which is what I liked about it. It's very easy to, as like a layering piece, um, so you don't feel like Sometimes if you're wearing like a jumper and then a blazer and then a coat in winter, which often I do, um, I don't want a chunky jumper under that. So it's nice to have a fine knit that's not a t-shirt. I just think the shape of it's really cool. There's so many ways that you can wear this and yeah, nice and relaxed. It was 15 99 so really affordable. And I got this in a size small. And I will show you in a minute three different ways that you can wear this piece. Next we have this gorgeous blazer, which I think is such a good find. Perfect for now, but also going into spring as well. You'll really get your wear out of this. So it's this kind of beigey camel color. I don't really suit a very orangey warm camel. So this is a nice shade for me because it's a little bit more beige. And this was 59.99 and I got this in a size small. And what I love about it the most is these incredible like balloon sleeves. Let's Let's see if we can see those in the camera a bit better. So they're like this kind of balloon sleeve shape, which just gives that real modern element to a blazer and just updates it for the season we're in now and the season to come. This is definitely something that kind of treads the border of being a trend, but also a classic. So I think you'll really get loads of wear out of this going through the season. And then finally, my third piece are these boots. So you might have already seen these on my Instagram because I've been wearing them lately. But I do have a few chunky boots and I thought, you know, one more needs to be added to the collection just to complete the set. So I've got some high ones, some less chunky ankle boots, but I just really wanted the chunky ones because I think they transform every outfit and they just look good with everything. So many ways that you can wear them. And like I say, really transform and take an outfit to that next level, especially if you're wearing something really basic. You could be wearing jeans and a t-shirt then put these on and you instantly look on trend. So they're a really easy piece. These were 99.99. So, you know, not really, really cheap, but I think really worth it because like I say, so durable, so much wear out of them. They're really warm and really comfortable. I got these in a size six, which is my usual size and they fit perfectly. I wore them to walk around Manchester in on Saturday and they're absolutely fine. They are huge, they do look very bulky, but that is the look and I actually also think that is quite a flattering look because your feet look a lot bigger. It kind of balances your legs out a bit, so it, they are really flattering boots despite being so chunky and heavy. But yeah, just a really cool, easy way to update your look and something that you can wear over and over again 
weekend after weekend, day in, day, in, day out. So yeah, definitely probably my favourite piece because I think I can get so much wear out of them. So now what I'm going to do is try on each piece. I'm going to start with the striped jumper and then show you three different ways that I can style it. So this is my first look and I've paired the jumper with a little skirt because it's really easy to tuck in because it's such fine material, it goes in really nicely. So this skirt is, it was from the Zara sale actually, but I wanted to show outfits that weren't just trousers, so I thought I'd do something a bit different and show a shorter skirt, but any kind of black skirt would work, like a leather skirt, anything you've got in your wardrobe already. And then I put on this black belt, which I think is an absolute essential kind of capsule wardrobe piece to have a black belt and gold buckle depending well or silver depending on what you wear i've got these um long boots on with it but again i think any kind of black boots would work really well with this if you're going out maybe some heeled boots would look nice with this so yeah i think this is just a really nice smart casual look if you're going out somewhere nice in the daytime that you want to look quite pulled together for this is a great look for that and then you can put any coat over the shoulders i think any color of coat would go with this i think if you've got a bright colored coat that would look really nice and just bring out a bit of color or equally a camel or a black or a teddy coat any style of coat would kind of match this outfit so this is my next outfit and you'll notice but I'm getting my wear out of these boots. So kind of more than three ways to wear each piece, I suppose. If you class it as another one for the boots. So this is what I've got on. I think um, like a striped nautical look looks so nice with camel. So I've got these trousers on from Zara. I think these are sold out now. They were kind of before Christmas. My under the stories blazer, which I think is an absolute classic. Everyone needs a black blazer in their life. And I really recommend this one. I will link it below. I'll link everything below where I can or find alternatives if you are looking for certain pieces that I've got. So yeah, I just popped it with the camel trousers just to bring a bit of lightness to the outfit and then balanced out the black boots with the black blazer. So lastly, I wanted to show you how you can use it a little bit more as a layering piece. So I've popped on the jumpsuit that I was wearing before. So yeah, it's just this plain black jumpsuit and instead of doing it all the way up, I've left the buttons undone, tied the belt together so you can actually see the stripes of the jumper a bit more. And not only does it give you a layer of extra warmth, it also gives you a bit more interest to a very plain black jumpsuit as well. And I think this is an easy way to get more wear out of your jumpsuit and make it more flexible is by adding like a casual layer underneath because often jumpsuits are seen as a bit more of an evening thing. But just layered like this with um, a jumper on underneath just makes it a little bit more casual. So yeah, this is my final outfit for the stripe knit. I couldn't resist wearing all three pieces for at least one of the outfits. So I've popped the blazer on, which I feel like I'm loving more and more each time I see and try it on. Um, so this blazer with the knit underneath, because I just thought it works so well together. And then the boots, and these jeans are also old Zara. Um, I'll see if these ones are still around, but I've got a feeling they're not. If not, I'll find something similar, but I think it just works so well. Any denim jeans would work well with this. I love the kind of light contrasted with the dark and then the nautical with the camel again, I think works really well. And then the black and black is balanced out with the boots. And yeah, I absolutely love this look. I feel like this is my favorite look I've tried on so far and possibly gonna be my favorite that I'm gonna show you. But yeah, I am obsessed with this blazer and can't wait to show you a couple more ways that you can wear it. So now I've got the blazer on with a classic outfit, slightly more dressy. I've got this black, silk shirt on from Windsor London which again is a really good basic to have especially for evenings you can really dress this up and um, I've got my white under the stories jeans on and then again to bring that black down I've got the little boots on that I had before these are from Just Fab which I've actually done a video with um, over on IGTV if you want to go and have a look at that there and then yeah the put, put the blazer over the top with a headband on but I think it's nice to have the light colour it lifts it and then grounded make it a bit more wintry and appropriate for this time of year with the darks but I think again going into springtime this would look really nice with like an all white outfit so you can definitely get your wear out of this blazer in more than just one season. I love camel and grey together so I think this outfit works really well. The jumper is quite oversized which 
I just think it works well with the blazer. It's kind of got like Frankie Shop vibes. So then I put it with the skinny jeans to balance it out. And then kind of to balance out the top proportion of being quite oversized, put the chunky boots on with it again. So yeah, this is another way that I'd style it quite casually. I think the cozy jumper and the skinny jeans just kind of dress it down, but still looks really on trend and fashionable. And yeah, absolutely love this blazer and think it's such a good buy for $59.99. I think that's quite a reasonable price for a blazer you can get so much wear out of. So I know I've already shown quite a few outfits with these boots, so lots of ways to wear there, but I just thought I'd pop on this coat with the same outfit I've just had on, just as a really cosy winter look. This coat is from Pixie Market, and I just love the shade of this. It's like, it's not quite beige, not, sorry, not quite gray. It's like a grayish shade, and I think that complements the black boots and the gray of the outfit really well. And yeah, just a cosy way that you can wear these boots and just make it work for the winter months. So I'm pairing the leather boots with some leather trousers and I think the thing to say with these boots is don't be afraid to wear like a baggier style of trouser because I think if you, well I've actually rolled these up on the inside but if you kind of have them to the length where they're just touching the boots I think they work really well. So I pop them on with these leather trousers. Again Zara, I'm thinking these are still in stock but I'll definitely check. Zara do such a great selection of leather trousers, so if you don't have any, definitely would recommend picking some up. And then my black and gold belt again, and what is this? An old blazer. It's like um, a Czech style blazer, and it's like black and white. I actually wore this on my first date with Tim, Tim Lovies. And then this just plain white shirt underneath. But yeah, this is, I'd kind of wear this if I was going to a meeting or an event or something where I needed to be smart, but it's perhaps daytime, I'm walking around the city a bit and I need the comfy boots on. So my final outfit is these baggy slouchy jeans from Zara with the boots. I think the baggy style balance out the chunky boots and then the kind of more streamlined coat. This is from Sana New York. Again, kind of balances out those proportions a bit more. And then just a black, quite fairly tight polo neck jumper, which again, works with the proportions a bit better, having something a bit more fitted on top. So yeah, this is my final outfit, but I think there are so many ways, as I've shown kind of throughout these little clips, so many ways to wear these boots. And again, over on my Instagram, I have a few different ways already on of me wearing them and I'm sure there'll be plenty more to come. So that is all my three pieces styled in different ways. I hope you've enjoyed this slightly different style of haul. This is actually what I want to do with my hauls going forward. Pick pieces that are basic, that will fit in everybody's wardrobe and that I think that you can wear over and over again. And hopefully you will enjoy that element too instead of buying loads and loads. So thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I'm sure I'll be styling these pieces in ways that I might not have done today. My Instagram is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson and I will see you in the next video. Bye.